In order to measure the thermal conductivity, there are two main ways to do it. The first one is called the 3 omega method. In this method, you, you build a device in which the nanowire is suspended. Uh, so it touches the surface only at the contact. And let's assume for now that two probes are uh, enough here. So what you do is you apply an alternating current through the nanowire uh, with a frequency of one omega. This alternating current um, by joule heating hits the nanowire and causes an alternating uh, temperature along the nanowire. So an alternating current with a frequency of one omega causes a temperature fluctuation along the nanowire with a frequency of two omega. Now, why one omega became two omega? This is because the relation between um, the temperature depends on the power and the power is proportional to the second power of the current. So this second power of the current, uh, once you do the mathematics with all the trigonometrical functions, uh, you, can, you can take a look at the, at the article, it is elaborated there, uh, you, you get from a one omega frequency of the temperature to two omega, sorry, from one omega frequency of the current to two omega in the temperature. Now, because the resistance depends on the temperature, this two omega fluctuation leads to a two omega fluctuation in the resistance uh, along the nanowire. So we now have a current which fluctuates at one omega and resistance which fluctuates at two omega. And now if you multiple the current with the, by the resistance, you get a voltage. But this voltage is at a frequency of three omega. Again, combining the one omega frequency of the current and the two omega frequency of the resistance. So along this process, you can use a locking amplifier and measure uh, the amplitude of the voltage developed at frequency of three omega. And this uh, voltage, its amplitude, depends on the thermal conductivity because as the thermal conductivity uh, is higher, the heat uh, runs away into the contact higher and the, the amplitude that develops uh, of the temperature and therefore of the resistance is lower leading to a, lo a lower uh, amplitude of the voltage. And so, again, you can look at uh, this article that I mentioned uh, for the elaborative uh, development of this uh, formula, but eventually you get a formula which relates the measured uh, uh, voltage at 3 omega with the thermal conductivity. And the other approach is to use a more direct uh, measurement uh, here you need to fabricate a device in which you have a uh, suspended membranes. Um, you can take a look at this article for example. Um, this, the problem here is that this fabrication is, is very difficult. You, it, it requires a very uh, uh, sophisticated uh, know-how in fabrication. Uh, you don't see he it here in the picture but these membranes the, which are uh, composed of silicon nitride, um, they are suspended and they are, their arms are very, very thin and very long and are connected to the contact. And the membranes themselves are suspended and also the nanowire, which you can see that sits between them. And what you do here is you uh, supply heat, you supply heat to one membrane, okay, in a and uh, in, a, in a pace which you, which you know exactly. Uh, so the heat moves into the one membrane from there through the nanowire, okay? It doesn't have any other way. It is done in vacuum, of course, both the measurements. Uh, the heat goes through the nanowire into the other membrane, and then you can measure the, uh, the heat which you absorb in the second, uh, in the other uh, part of the device, in the other contact. And so by uh, looking at the difference between the supplied heat, okay, if you look at the paces of, of the supplied heat and the heat which 
you get on the other side, you can do the calculations, again, take a look at the article, and calculate the thermal conductivity of the nanowire itself.